So I have an update on a hit and run crash on the Sawmill River Parkway that killed a recent high school graduate. Westchester County Police made an arrest overnight. The suspect appeared before a judge late this afternoon. CBS 2's Ali Bauman has more now from the Yonkers Courthouse. 19 year old Junior Silverio Ventura leaves Yonkers City Court in police custody earlier today, held on $50,000 bail after his arraignment. The Yonkers father faces felony charges of leaving the scene of a fatal accident. According to witnesses, there were several other vehicles that were involved with the suspect vehicle that picked up the suspects from the scene of the accident and took them away. Police say around 3 a.m. Monday, Ventura was speeding northbound on the parkway and hit 18-year-old Zachary Dunn, a Yonkers Palisades preparatory graduate who was supposed to start his freshman year at Westchester Community College today. Investigators say Dunn had been driving with a friend and pulled onto the shoulder near McLean Avenue with a flat tire when Ventura, with two passengers and an expired New Jersey license plate, sped right into them. It's just a very special young man. And of course, we're going to miss him incredibly. Ventura had many family supporters in court today. While cameras were not allowed inside, his attorney said Ventura is a working plumber, has a one year old child, and no prior arrests. We are not certain at this time that this was an organized. Um, drag race of sorts that traffic was stopped and that uh, there was a, an actual speed contest. We do feel that uh, speed and reckless driving were factors. While an arrest may bring answers, Dunn's family remains heartbroken. A son they should have been moving into college, they are now mourning. Police say besides the car Ventura was driving, they believe two other cars and a total of nine people may have been involved as well. They're still questioning those other eight people to determine if they too may face charges. From the Yonkers City Courthouse, Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News. The passenger in Dunn's car was treated at the hospital for his injuries and released.